What it do? This is Rob the Straw Hat Runner. We are back with some more Vinland Saga. We are moving right along. Last episode, I failed to mention something, which was the concept of what it means to be a good man. And I wanted to kind of touch on that because it's it's a really interesting conversation to have. So we have Master Kettle, right? And he comes off. Well, he he is. He's a he's a nice guy, and uh, he's afraid of conflict. Last two episodes, we really get to see who his character is. Now, when Subverkle was talking about him, he was mentioning how he's paying Snake, these mercenaries, to protect his farm, and he's also paying King Harold for protection. And in the latest episode, we saw that, we saw how he was afraid of beating the children. He didn't want to punish the children because his heart is just, his heart is soft. And he sees, he views his oldest son as a savage and it frightens him. So here we have a man who's afraid of conflict to the point that he won't even speak up against things that he doesn't wish. He didn't want to punish the kids. He kind of, he, he allowed his son and Snake to kind of roll over him and Potter as well. They mentioned that the kids needed to be punished. He needed to punish the thieves because if he doesn't, then he'll be seen as soft, which is funny because he really is soft, but he has to, you have to, give out a punishment so other people can see that they can't get away with stepping all over you which is true i i do believe that the kids needed a punishment of course not anything crazy like chopping off their arm or anything like that even if he didn't want to beat them and have them work that's fine as well you know what i'm saying like but he didn't stand up and say that to the people that was kind of pushing against it you know there's this concept of what it means to be a good man someone who who shies away from violence and i don't believe that to be a case when you look at how season one was you had all of this violence you saw how Thorfinn came up they were raising hell across the land it's terrible so now we're here in season two and it's it's pretty much the exact opposite of season one There's, there hasn't been a lot of violence so far and uh it's more about farming and we're on this land of this guy who he stays away from from these type of conflicts you know of course as a farmer why would you get into those type of conflicts? But to the point that he doesn't even defend his land himself. He has mercenaries that he hires because he saw. Whereas in season one, I think they were trying to they were trying to make a case against violence, so to speak. You had Thor's telling his son that he didn't want him to grow up in that type of life. You know, he doesn't have any enemies. He didn't want him to grow up the way that he did. This season seems to be leaning in the opposite direction, where it is not a lot of violence. But what's going to come of that? You know what I'm saying? Like, at some point, you may have to fight. You may have to get physical. You can't allow people to step all over you. Just stand up for yourself, man. Enough with the talking. Let's get into this episode. I'm not sure what happens next. I'm sure when we get into it, it'll jog my memory. Vinland Saga, let's go. Thorfinn having another one of his nightmares. What's it about to be? Looks like Einar. Young Thorfinn. Savage Thorfinn. Look at the animation. Though. The nightmares persist. Ooh, yeah, I know where we're at now. Yikes. Look at those hands. Oh, we're going to get a special guest appearance. The abyss. It's all over. Hmm. Mmm. It's what you deserve. Ooh! Ooh! No! <laughs> Ain't no just looking at this man. Yo, dreams really do be like that. Like, you be doing one thing and then all of a sudden you just somewhere else in hell. <laughs> he ain't gonna tell him the first part of the dream. Were you, was he calling your name? Ashlight. You don't remember that part, huh? <laughs> Look at this dude, Anar, simping. 
he got a giggling and everything. No, that wasn't a giggle. That was a full-on laugh. It'd be funny he doing all that and she sees him as a brother. Y'all jealous? I need to work with him. No, I won't. Shut up. Shut up. Don't let this guy get you into some shit that y'all can't get out of. Now you can't leave. Oh, he's about to give us some info. He was a strong and cruel man. That he was. But he was affable as well. <clears throat> I hated this man. Telling them everything. Yep, there's something else. Oh, he doesn't say it here. Okay. I was thinking he was going to say uh, something else. Mm -hmm. mm. That's all he had was hatred. <laughs> oh, they doing that for him? We need that horse. Man, we catch fish out there? <laughs> That's <laughs> so one thing I don't understand. How is fish not meat? It's a living animal, right? <laughs> it's an animal, right? I said a living animal. The hell is that? That's true. Mm, old man is spitting. That wisdom. He's still young, buddy. <laughs> Work. Too much talking. That shit looks real. Clans. I never had clans. Yes and no. I believe you were who you were before you got here. But I think uh, it takes a lot of repetition to change. You gotta do something consistently where it becomes a part of your habit. Yeah, this man don't look like a warrior at all. He told me this man had a hundred bodies. I'd be like, what? But it's always the unassuming ones, though. Yeah, he would have killed you. <laughs> the cool thing about Thorfinn is that he's always been honest. Well, that might not be true. He was honest to a certain extent because he wasn't being honest with himself, right? Because then he would have been able to recognize the feelings that he that he had for for Ashland. It wasn't just hatred. They messed up their farm. Holy hell! Bro. Kill these niggas, man. I was afraid of that because I don't remember that in the manga. They had... The fact that they had time to do this, man. Instead of doing their own work, they had time to go and destroy somebody else's doing. Like, how much work did you have to do to do that, bruh? Ooh, look at this man. Yo, this ANR is scary. That's terrible, man.
怒りを取るべ俺たちの武器がダメージされたんだぞお前みたいに奉公人に腹を立てる資格が俺にはないんだうん俺もお前に100回はぶっ殺されなきゃならないはずだ Bring him back It takes some real strength to not go after them guys, man. Well, clues you can't even see. I got it. I'm going to give you all the answers. Man, what's the mask going to do? That man saw. There was no benefit to it. Oh, he catches it. Hataraki Shida de Kaiho Sutte. Or a touchy bit in a Kaya Kana Naiso. He caught on. Ti Uni Nadano Akirameter of the Tat. Kinitemo. Snagar. Right. Kinabaria. Kodosivita. Terrible life. Unnat. Or a touch. Idots. These guys are laughing about it. Yeesh. A lot of people ain't going to like this Thorfinn. Ahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahahah
Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Until next time, Ronan signing out. Peace.